everyone, it's Heather here today, and I have a cute baby card to share with you. This card features a really fun shaker element on the front of the card, and the sentiments are from the Inside Scoop Baby, so I have the sentiment on the front, and then another sentiment on the inside, along with one more onesie to pull it all together. There's a bunch of die cutting involved in this card, and so to get started, we're going to use the Little Bits onesie die, and you're going to die cut nine onesies from Sugar Cube cardstock. And then we're going to use the Little Bits Baby Confetti die collection, and we're going to use the die, the duck die, and I put some double sided adhesive on the back, like stick it and I die cut the duck die three times. So that gives you 12 ducks. You need nine, so you'll have a few left over. But you're gonna peel off that paper backing from the double-sided adhesive, and then you're gonna put a duck on each one of those onesie die cuts that you just cut out. This piece of toffee cardstock is cut just a little bit shorter than A2 size. I just trimmed an eighth of an inch off the bottom. And then I'm going to set up my onesies on that piece of cardstock. We're basically going to make a frame of onesies around. So you're going to use eight of your onesies on this piece of toffee cardstock. And start in the middle at the top. That's the easiest. All right, so once you've got all the onesies on there, you'll notice that I have some sleeves overlapping the side of the toffee cardstock. So I'm just flipping that over and trimming off those extra little overhang sleeve pieces with my scissors. And you'll see I have one onesie left over sitting to the side there, and that's gonna go on the inside of the card when we get to that part. Next, we're gonna to put together the shaker element on the card. And for that, we're gonna do a little bit more die cutting and you are going to die cut the stitched frame circle out of a double sided foam adhesive and also some saltwater taffy and then you're going to want the center portion of that frame out of sugar cube cardstock and I also cut um, with a stitch circle die just a piece of the window acetate that will go over the top of the shaker. I'm attaching the foam stitched circle frame to the center of the card. Just kind of eyeball it and line it up. There's a nice opening left there by your frame of onesies. And then I am going to use that inside piece that is die cut from Sugar Cube cardstock and stamp the sentiment that I want on the front of my card. In the Inside Scoop Baby Stamp Set, two of the sentiments work well for the size circle I'm doing. Tiny Miracle and also the Heaven Scent would be a good choice as well. I am doing the Tiny Miracle one, so I am just going to secure this down with my magnet in my Misty and get the sentiment that I want. I'm going to line it up on the circle. The great thing about circles is if you're crooked, you just have to adjust your circle and then your sentiment will be where it needs to be. And I'll just put that right in there, pick it up with the lid of my Misty. I still straighten it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the Oreo ink to stamp the sentiment onto that circle piece. I'm going to ink it up and then close the lid of my Misty to stamp it on that circle. And I'm going to do it one more time just to get a nice crisp black image on the sentiment. Next I'm adhering that circle with the sentiment right inside the foam frame. Just put some adhesive on the back and just pop it right into that opening. It's a perfect fit and press it down. I'm using a tool that I normally have on my desk. It's like a little paper piercer awl tool. I use it all the time for positioning and pressing and poking and all sorts of things. And then we're going to use the Little Bits Baby Confetti to add more shakers into the middle of the shaker. I'm adding the little ducks and I actually peel the foam off first. It's a little bit living on the edge but um, it works for me. 
there is that risk that things are going to stick to that tape. So I'm going to fill that up with the little ducks. And I also die cut some little pins that I'm going to put in there as well. They're so cute. Now I'm also going to add a little bit more. This is the shaker cream filling that you can put inside a shaker card and also some of the little snow flurry sequins. You don't want to fill it too full. A little bit goes a long way. And when you get your shaker fillings into the middle of the frame, then you can put the window acetate right on top. Finally, we're going to put that saltwater taffy frame and cover up that foam die cut. I'm just using some liquid glue. I like to use the multimedia mat as my liquid adhesive of choice. So I'm just putting that around the frame and I'm going to press that right down right over that foam frame die cut. Now let's do the sentiment on the inside of the card. And I'm just going to eyeball that and get it centered where I want it on the inside. Again, I'm using my Misty to stamp and line everything up. I'll close the lid to pick up my stamp. Just make sure it's straight. The grid lines are awesome for eyeballing and making sure things look good. And I'm using Oreo ink again to ink up the stamp and then I'll close the lid of the Misty to stamp the sentiment. And again, I like to do it twice just to get that nice crisp black. I'm going to take it out of my Misty and then I'm going to take that onesie, that one extra onesie, and I'm going to attach that right into the inside of my card just to kind of pull the whole card design together with the onesies on the outside and then this one onesie on the inside. So now we need to attach the front piece with the shaker element to the card base with the saltwater taffy there. And I'm going to put the adhesive right onto the card base rather than try to get it on the back of the piece with the shaker element. And I'm lining up the top edge because I have a little bit of that saltwater taffy peeking out at the bottom. And that completes the card. A cute baby shaker to give to a family with a new addition. Thanks so much for joining me everybody. I'll see you next time.